Hello Polygoners, I am Shaft, you're watching a daily cast, and today we're going to be talking about ZVZ and why it's really important to get a Baneling Nest. Everyone knows every ZVZ pretty much sets up the same, with some kind of Ling Baneling War transitioning into either Roaches or some other mid-game, sometimes it's Mutas, that's the part that kind of changes. But the initial stages are usually pretty standard. There are some times, though, where you'll see players try to skip a Baneling Nest. We're actually going to see that in this match, and we're going to look at why some players might would choose to do that, but some of the downsides to that as well. Because here on the bottom right-hand side of Odyssey Ladder Edition and the Red Zerg Trunks, he's none other than Jared Pig Crincel. And here on the top left hand side of that map, it's none other than Jamie, Jim Rising, Silencio. Alright, so got the instructions out of the way. We've got some Ling harassment going along here. Fast three base out of Pig. And he is getting a Baneling Nest follow up. Both players getting the metabolic boost a little bit faster out of Jim Rising. Looks like Pig uh, scouting the third. Uh, this drone right here was. Uh, either thinking about taking this or going up here to the gold being a little greedy we got a little bit of a contestment here between the lings zoning that uh that drone right on away but another one has been sent right up here and pig not quite aware of it yet looks like he is sending the lings there queen going to be sniping this overlord a little bit of uh ling defense here on this side will have a little bit of a faster ling speed here for Gem Rising, so he can swing to this defense, but he doesn't know what's happening just yet. No Overlord in that position. He will be forced to retreat there if he wants to stop it, but it looks like he is going to be taking his all-out Ling pressure into Pig's natural. We've got some Lings there to defend, but the real important thing here is the Bane Lings. Both these players, very similar army count, very similar drone count as well. But again, Pig's third base has not been scouted, nor is it being harassed at present. Jim Rising looks like he has shut that down with some reinforcements and has been forced back, but coming right on in offensively as well. He's actually swung over here to this third base to pull some of these slower Bane Links. Actually gets a good explosion there. Um, meanwhile, some of these units here going to be forced to respond to Pig's own army in, <laughs> at his own third. This is actually some pretty insane micro from these two players the multitasking just incredible managing to keep that drone alive he is going to rebuild that but again we have more production now from pig with a lot more larvae he's going to be able to flood out more lanes more workers whatever he chooses to make right now jim rising about 14 now 16 army supply in the lead but we've got a five worker lead for pig Woo! That's a lot of talking really quick. And these lings going to get cleaned up here or at least pushed back by Jim Rising's defense. Very important that he pulls back some of these and is actually going to regroup. Doesn't want to get pulled in any kind of Bane Lings. Ling's going to be swinging in here for Pig as well. He's keeping these lings very offensive. Bane Lings going to be rolling in here as well. Does manage to get up the ramp and with a faster Roach Warren, Jim Rising was trying to save the gas from... Uh, not making banelings to get roaches out faster and hit a mid game a little bit of a quicker mid game roach timing these lings are going to make that pretty hard going to be punishing him for that but the worker count has actually gotten really insane for pig he's 13 workers ahead whereas jim rising is 30 army slot behind now this is very very scary for pig because jim rising has the potential to kill him right now it's all going to come down to ling baneling micro great splits here on the banelings already pre-split got some roaches there to defend should a huge amount of banelings or, or sorry rather speedlings come in the banelings will be there to defend and these are actually some pretty nice splits he's got these banelings morphing going to uh, have to cancel one of those this baneling over here being kept alive by the roaches this is going to open up the third for a little bit of harassment but it looks like this narrow passageway will allow some banelings down there and these banelings trying to not going to survive however the lings very very strong are going to try and get us around here on the roaches meanwhile we've got some roaches of jim rising zone going to try and uh, stop these roaches from being able to retreat lings down here doing a great amount of damage to the roaches that have been sandwiched are very very much so hurting the roaches of pig as far as reinforcements though going to be knocking these roaches of jim rising back reinforcements coming in for jim rising looks like he does have a pretty good concave going to be bringing some more of his own roaches to bear but the roaches from that third base are swinging in here to get 
an even better concave. These guys are fighting for the concave. And the way these narrow hallways work on this map has really created a, a interesting dynamic for concaves in the Roach vs. Roach matchup. Finally, Jim Rising getting this third base set up. Pig has been able to drone while making exactly the amount of army he needs with that extra base of production. The Banley Nest allowing him to keep that base, whereas his opponent, you know, being a little more aggressive and trying to be a little more greedy, taking the gold base, has not been able to hold his third base for quite as long. And we've got these roaches, they were threatening an attack, which of course forces Jim Rising to make more army, and that's just fine with pig he's going to go right on home he did manage to get these lings here into the natural of jim rising not getting uh, that many drone kills but a lot of lost mining time and all of these annoyances all over the map are really threatening the mental stability of both of the players really because if you ever take your eye off the map if you ever miss anything for just a split second it's going to be game over and you know what these players are constantly reminding each other of it now this overlord is going to scout the roaches swinging in here nothing scouting uh the lings swinging into the third so this uh mineral line kind of wide open going to get that building there canceled lings trying to get onto the uh the drone count but roaches were there to intercept his own roaches are going to be swinging in here to the southern location knocking back most of the roaches but some drones going to be here to defend uh pig sacrificing the workers as a little bit of a buffer that is going to give him enough time to get a substantial number of roaches onto the field just enough to knock this back with the barest number of units possible meanwhile jim rising has caught back up in the worker count the three base production very strong the interesting part is Jim Rising just now got his lair. The pig's not had this lair for very long. He's been researching it. Base Roach Warren, uh, the Roach Speed, he's been researching that basically as long as the lair has been complete. Both players getting 1 1 pig is about mm, 60 seconds or so ahead of that on the plus 1. That will translate into a faster plus 2 as well. So this kind of tech advantage will eventually. Uh, contribute to a stronger army for pig which means third and fourth bases will become vulnerable as you can see the harassment really hurting a lot of the drone counts but neither player really at a point where they could lose their third and the ling swinging in scouting that lair if they hadn't already Queen going to be forfeit here, but Roach Ravager going to clean up the lings. Oh, actually forcing them into the other batch of roaches right here on the ramp. Lings going to be trying to swing in here and uh, use their lives to kill off a couple of drones. Doesn't look like they managed even one kill there. And Jim Rising starting to have, you know, he's already lost a lot of units just throwing them away in these reckless attacks while he was behind economically and on larva. He's now got to get a fourth base, but Pig is scouting that. Pig also getting his fourth base in response, and rather than trying to immediately kill that fourth, he does recognize that Jim Rising has seen it with this Overlord with speed. Trying to kill that off doesn't even damage it. It's okay. Pig didn't really lose energy or anything like that, so no big deal. But I think what he's going to want to do is uh, still continue to play this fairly defensively and take this fourth base here um looks like jim rising going to be pushing out onto his opponent's side of the map i've heard a lot of zerg players talk about how they would rather be offensive against ravagers rather than defensive i'm not sure if that's how jim rising feels but he uh did immediately break away from uh from those ravagers when he saw it this is going to expose this fourth base for pig though and oh we yes that is going to be canceled looks like he's going to try and get that drone but losing a lot of zone roaches in the process pig skyrocketing up to 131 supply there for a second on the army supply he's about tit for tat with his opponent though so that four base advantage going to be swinging in for jim rising this actually looking pretty bad for pig but he's definitely not out of this game yet and we've got a big engagement setting up these players fighting for the concave looks like jim rising splitting his units up a little bit trying to get that circular angle there but pig may have just a 
few more roaches. It's hard to hard to tell, but it looks like Jim Rising going to go ahead and retreat. That plus two upgrade coming into Pig's advantage. Jim Rising has quite some time until his completes and realizing that maybe he was a little bit too much, too greedy with that fourth base. He's going to go ahead and tap out. That is GG, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. If you like this content, make sure you smash that subscribe button in the face. Punch that like button as well. Please visit us on Patreon. Every dollar counts. We are raising money right now for Hope Team League. It is a team league for Masters 2 players to the um, bottom 150 Grandmasters in North America. If you know a team that might be interested, please have them contact me on Twitter, on this YouTube account, or on polygonsc2 at gmail.com. We are currently accepting all applications and we will review the applications picking the top eight teams we're trying to raise 225 dollars in seed money for that event so if you want to help out please consider donating on patreon every little bit counts see you guys next time chatelet my dudes if you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.